up guys, it is the Cornish Gamer and welcome back to another episode of Civilization 5 Brave the World 43 Civ Challenge as Mahatma Gandhi. So last episode we began our journey as Gandhi and we were in the barbarian ass barbarian's assholes, we set up stream on an exploration around the world, trying to discover all the different civs. We found Krakatoa. Yes, yeah, that's, that's good. Um and we found out the Persia, Babylon, and sorry, are a bit close, and we met Greece as well. But you know, we need to focus on ourselves at the moment. It doesn't really look like they're going to be attacking us. It looks like they're sort of going to be um, worrying about each other. Let's move this guy to defend. Anyway, so um, I'm. I'm really not sure what's going to happen next in this series, I guess we're just going to keep on exploring, keep expanding. We actually need to build up a few trade routes and even increase our income of gold even more. We took out that barbarian encampment, finally. But barbarians are being real assholes this game. Um, it looks like these guys are going to die. I move these guys here. I move these guys here, I do get a flanking bonus, but... It's not amazing. Let's take down these guys as well. Damn, Persia already got three cities. To be fair, it is actually turn 120. Oh, well, hello Attila. Um, we'll have to go meet up with him. I'm sure he won't exactly be, you know, being too friendly. But that'll be another city to discover. Babylon's actually settled up there as well. Um, yeah, okay. Suppose six will do. But we do have historical spawn dates on as well, so you do have to remember that some civs, like, or well, a lot of the actual Native American civs, it's surprising the Native American civs actually spawn reasonably late on in the game, because the Iroquois, Iroquois, how do you pronounce it, they're, they're, oh, I love this music, they're, they're actually pretty late on, because um, the actual tribes in Native America were relatively early, but the, Iro the Iroquois, or Iro I'm just going to call them Iroquois, the Iroquois are sort of like a band of tribes, if you sort of like know what I mean, and those, that band of tribes was only formed, not formed until late. Um, hmm, that's what the problem we have here. Let's move this guy around here. There's loads of barbarians here. I think that's like around the Thailand area where that is. So. Siam will actually be around here. Um, anyway. Let's attack him. We won't really be building our empire too big due to, um, India's special ability. Like, our happiness is great because of their special ability. We're only generating 3.25 unhappiness from population, which is amazing. I actually, I know I haven't uploaded this, uploaded this for a while, which generally because, you know, I have so many series going on. And I might actually have to end one or two of my series, because well, P PS4 is now actually allowing the ability to record a Velgato next week Wednesday. So that's good. So we'll be, be getting maybe some FIFA. I'm still not sure about whether to do FIFA or not. And Desert Hiller. I've already met him. Oh yeah, I probably already- oh, hello. You're nice. Yeah, Hans are typically the nicest people. Oh, we're in embassy together. Yeah, he's just spawned, I'm guessing. 175, yeah, he's probably- he's probably just spawned. One good thing is he doesn't appear to have too many horses near him. It's a great thing. Because he really utilizes the horses. I'm not actually sure, sure when Siam spawns, so that might be the reason why they're not really, like, here. We'll go for heal instantly. Uh, wow. I may as well try and push through. So many barbarians, man. Especially ships. There will be a lot of barbarians at the beginning, since the Sivs can't really eliminate them, and Attila already putting up a big army. That's slightly worrying. However, due to our like whole population thing, it will actually be reasonably easy for us to take over land and build up an army because our goals are consolidated at the moment. And Greece gets the Oracle. 
Greece is getting all the wonders this game. Just like they they built a lot of like world wonders in real life as well, so I guess it's sort of like representation of that. Oh, <laughs> um, looks like our exploration might be ending soon. Uh, let's protect it from this flank. Let's keep this warrior exploring. Let's go explore automatically. Favorite till it already comes. Oh, oh wow. Damn. It doesn't actually cover my lands. That's a first. I suppose I am pretty far away. We'll probably be heading for Persia first. But Attila, no mercy with Attila. He doesn't really care about gold or anything. What he cares about is just taking over. And Arturian is probably dead. Yeah. That's busiest people. So we've now actually got. 14 people in our game. We are ranking mid-table. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Let's take these guys down. Um, There's nothing we're particularly struggling with. We're actually doing pretty, well, pretty low culture-wise. Um, our caravans have uh, trade room. We could set to Mumbai to go Mumbai a bit. I think we'll do that. Yeah. We'll go for heal instantly. And let's try and push through here. We may as well give it a go. Um Should we for another car or should we go for a settler? You know what, I barely ever do this, but this could fuck some of my advisors. Yeah. I'm generally going relatively sciencey on this game actually. Um that won't even fight. We're making money and we're making gems. Every, yeah, I think it's time to build a new city. So we'll go for a settler. I mean, we do get quite a bit of unhappiness from new cities, but, you know. It'll easily be ironed out with the population sort of thing. Okay, let's see what the barbarians do. Damn. Just leave me alone. And I think he's dead. Oh! He's not dead! There Philosophy. Is only one good. National no. College. Okay, good. National College would be nice to get. Because the key to this map is you generally have to stay up scientifically, tech wise. I mean, we're keeping up, but. You know. Ooh, elephants. Scout up there. Oh, look at those brutes there. Can those brutes like never be upgraded? Um, whew, it's all stalemate everywhere. If we attack them, then they'll put in a bit. Oh, okay, we're gonna go for it. And we lost. Oh well, it was worth it. I suppose we'll explore the left next. When we do get another shroom. But so far, it's, it's sort of good that I have the historical spawn dates on because the map is going relatively quick the early game, whereas if, if you have all the sieves in, then it goes relatively slow. I think we'll just go for the amphibious, considering there's a river right here. There's lots of wheat there. If I were to set up the city around there, it would certainly grow very quickly. I think that probably will be where we'll find our next city. I mean, although the jungle is very, you know, resource... You know, resource heavy. Let me just quickly check something. Some culture from plantations we picked. Ah, yeah, okay, that makes sense. Like I guess we could have chose plus one culture from jungle tiles. So a lot of seeds here, but you know, going for drama perch would be good because we sort of need a little boost in culture. Golden age is great. Um, okay, that's good. But as you can see now, Mumbai is growing really big. Well, not really big, but it's growing a lot quicker than usual. I'm just waiting for Attila to pretty much declare war on someone. Still surprised there's been no war here. Oh! Byzantium sort of came into the frame now. Okay. 
Okay. So anyways, we can check how many players there are on there. Okay. But it's great to see different civs coming into the game now. What does China spawns versus the other? You haven't really seen them. Only problem with this map is we probably won't see a lot of World Congress action. Because of um how big the map is. And the whole historical spawn dates thing. The only real person that can really compete to do that is Polynesia, and they're in the middle of nowhere. So I reckon I've got a city here. However, it won't get lots of happiness if I got it here, but it would certainly be a strong city, so I'm gonna put it over there for now. Um I should call it Neo Library of Mumbai. Um, what should we go for it? Yeah, let's go for a worker. Um, Mumbai. Hmm. We purchase a library in Mumbai. We could. Hmm. Hmm, okay, I think I know what I'm gonna do. Um, because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy the- buy a library in the city I just settled, and then once my work is done, I'll be able to construct the National College, which will give us a boost in the science. I just realised, India aren't actually a bad Brave New World sieve, because you get a lot of unhappiness from cities in Brave New World, and although you do get the penalty when you first found the city, once you've got that city, then the, happiness, the unhappiness generated from it slows down for the entire game. And then they are probably are probably best suited to a tall empire. So I'd probably be building them in five or six cities. If I were R. Uh, and I'll definitely try and make those cities big. That's why I'm trying to make Mumbai very big, because it's gonna be useful. As well as we find the city here. Why haven't the workers even worked that? Yeah, it's because I only actually have one worker, so. Hmm. I would still be able to utilize the wheat there. Yeah, let's do so, and it's not co and it's because of the um rough terrain the Bulgarians can't get to it. We're generating a lot of gold per time, even though it is a golden age, but still quite a bit. Anyway, let's settle down here. And there's gold there as well, actually. What? Oh, poetry, okay. Vija, wait. Vijayanagara. That's easy to pronounce. Okay, take them down. Uh, choose research. No, choose production, sorry. I think we'll go for a shrine there. It's... We could actually get a religion here. It's very difficult on this kind of map. I mean, I suppose since we were one of the early civs, we do get the advantage when it comes to religion. Oh, there's one that found it there. Shinto. It'd be nice if the, relig if the religions were actually, like, Civ, um... It's, like, appropriate. So, like, Babylon, I, from my, from my sort of own recall, I don't really think the Babylonians were Islam. Oh, at least I don't think so anyway. I mean, I'm not saying anything. Let's go take them up the and camp and they're annoying me. Moving that warrior as well. Oh, he's got the Great Wall. Nebby. He's in the medieval era. Era, sorry. Where are we? We're relatively close. Uh, okay. Go Worthens. Uh, okay. Good improvements. Brutes, he's back. Um, we want to get that National College, so, purchase the library, let's go for National College. Hey, check out our sign. Yeah, we're actually second, to be fair. <laughs> Until it's the most liked. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Take down the encampment. Come on. 
or not. Uh, we're going to group. Let's leave you up. Golden Age has ended. See, we're still earning 21 gold, even though the Golden Age has ended. And um, our trade route isn't even earning money. Like, that's pretty damn good. Was it something that jumped up to 18? Other workers, so I'm actually doing the best for our civilization. Okay, let's move this guy here. This guy in here. And let's attack. Okay. So we took down another barbarian encampment. There's a lot going around, but we're slowly but surely getting rid of them. How many sips have we actually found? Not too many. And we're doing very low score wise. One thing I'd actually like to do is like we go here. Options, interface, single player school list. We can also see how many people there are actually on the game. So we're not doing too bad. You know, we aren't exactly failing. We aren't completely the best either. Then we go for rough terrain. Attack. And let's just retreat these guys back. We need like a proper scout. Like actually going out and exploring. Now even horsemen aren't bad exploration units. If we have any horses in our board, it's going to be good to utilize them. Yeah, and we do four horses, so I think we might construct the horseman and send him out exploring. I mean, he's not particularly good at rough terrain, but China from well, this area here is very flat. Um, okay, I think we're going to wasn't too important to our survival. Uh, they're not close enough to attack, so let's move these guys back to defend Delhi. Um, let's heal them up. Let's attack. And next turn. I'm not sure if we're going to war or not in this save or not. Yeah. Uh, much rather have the gold and not the other borders. How about seven? Okay, cool. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of the open borders. I'm just gonna hold five. Okay, cool. Look at our gold. And we're getting currency soon. Well, our workers are actually doing something useful, because we actually need production. Well done, workers. I actually reckon we might need even more workers, to be honest. So we might just quickly purchase another worker. Yeah. Oh, let's heal them up. I might actually just control this worker and just utilize that silk there. And build a few farms there, because the workers at the moment aren't particularly doing what I want them to do. And I want them to do what I want them to do. Okay, now workers, this is what you call making a plantation. Um, let's just go back. Um, we don't really need a circus, so I'm happy it's actually well. Could do a lighthouse to get to grow quicker. Where's this warrior? Um, let's just heal him up. Let's hit that barbarian down. Okay, so that's most of the barbarians down. Colossus just got built. By who? He's spamming them. Nope. He's anti human though. Attila? No. Oh, no, now Attila's got horses. No, no. For him, that's eight horses, because he gets double. Sips was spawned. Um, still shrinking. I like seven. Like all your gold. Yeah, okay, that's good. Um, actually, banner points completed and wasn't. How come these guys st still haven't gone to war yet? Yeah, this is a bit stupid now. Like, come on. 
Let's do something. Um, uh, this way you can show like a plantation. army doing compared to the one? We'll check in a sec. Also, with this we can actually see when the Usage spawns. Why is Attila showing up on that scoreboard? He should be. But I can't see any Attila. Hmm. Oh, I am. Go back. Apparently it doesn't exist. Fair enough. You guys have a road leading from here to here, but you know, the workers are too retarded to do that. Damn, they're only size 11. Compared to a lot of people, it looks very big for a city. Yeah, until it's still on 5. Okay, cool. So. Now you can actually get that silk, because our happiness is going down after we found that new city. And once again, we are still only getting 6.75 unhappiness for the population, which is great. So if you actually hear like a really bad static in the background, my like, computer's going like insane. My question is, what are we going for here? Liberty isn't bad. Aesthetics. And though we aren't going science, um, culturally, it would still be useful. Um... Patriots are sort of useless, because there's probably not going to be a World Congress, um... Piety? Hmm... That's like the idea, you don't need to worry about that. Hmm... Tempted to adopt aesthetics. Because we need the culture. Uh, should we? Or should we go for loyalty? I think we'll go for... I'm just tempted to go to li for liberty, despite we're not going to be going to be our, our empire. Still got some useful stuff in there. We'll go for liberty, actually. I know it's a bit weird to adopt both liberty and tradition, but it could actually be a good thing. Oh, these guys are fine actually doing so useful now, well done. You've learned how to be useful. I should ban our pals, it's a medieval era. So the world's events in the medieval era, okay. Uh, science is actually particularly good, despite the fact we are, I hope, yeah, still second. The world's going a bit slow at the moment. Doing great on population. Great on GNP. Whoa, 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 whoa. Babylon, where are you sending that missionary? Because we could be getting a religion soon. That's what's called rest. Darius is. We're actually not doing that bad culturally. We have a look at the Sibs here. Attila's, <laughs> no surprise, not going cultural at all. No lag there. Um, 41. I still think we're actually running well on culture. Plus 16 isn't great, despite the fact we're not that far behind. Engineering. Yeah. Yeah, I Vijayanagara is grown. Um. Oh crap, that's horrible. My voice went retarded then. Um. Goodbye, walking. Hey, what the hell did my voice do? I feel like how retarded that was. Um. God. Yeah, okay. Complete six for now. I'm happy I should shoot up in a sec, because. The silk will be done soon. Oh, 
Okay. Uh, we set it to Vivian, and then yeah, I think we send it to them. Cause they need a bit of growth. Uh, let's produce a granary for growth. Because Mumbai is a decent size now. Oh, oh wait, he's changed. He's making me Islam. Not that I have anything against Islams, but. I like my own religion. Hmm. Yeah. One religion must have found. I'd be very lucky if I can get it. I can sort of actually tell where it's going on the leaderboard. 84. Okay, it isn't even on the leaderboard. Um, send this over to Shannon. It's utilized a fleet there. Because we could seriously make that city big. Like, maybe even bigger than our capital, certainly bigger than our second. Despite the fact our second is in jungle. Okay, National College next turn, that'd be good. Okay, so you got the National College, size up to 48. Oh, let's keep attacking. Um, what shall we build? Shall we go for a... Oh, how's our military doing? Hmm, not too well at all. Just below average, I'd like to generally stay above that, so... May as well use less horses. Indian music. It's really cool. Colossus actually really low. Oh, four religion just got founded then. Gonna say that one piss me off. Have any other sis popped up? No. Any? Any up here? Oh, uh, we're going through. Let's go for. Nice if we weren't attacking over a river. Go brutes, go. Do brutes not actually upgrade? Are they just gonna be brutes forever? Okay, we should be getting a religion soon now. Well this is already size four. I know we have got food going into it, but once we put the farms. Damn. Oh, great profit, okay. It's found our religion. Let's take down this guy. Um, um I want to make it Hindu, because that's what it actually was. Hindu, that's great. We can actually find what it actually was. Damn. That, that, that costume, that's a pretty really good one they left there. And a lot of them are actually taken. For one of the first faith. I'll try to do this. plantations. So we're going to do a lot of that. I said to do a culture. I don't want to do cultures in cities with five dollars. I think we're good for that. Hinduism, okay, cool. So I think I'm going to be ending off the episode here, to be honest. I, I think it's a pretty good episode. We sort of like. We're not, we're not really going into war, we're sort of just building up our civilization. And eventually. We will work our way up. But we sort of need to stabilise ourselves before we even think about going to war, to be honest. Anyway, as soon as this turns over, I'm going to end off the episode here. So, yeah, this has been the Cornish Gamer. Be sure to like, subscribe, share with your friends, add your favourites, and I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. You would like some silk. Yeah, okay. Suppose we can allow that. Plus 41 gold per turn, not even in the golden age. And we are not even using trade routes. It's from trading our luxuries. It's a really good trade we got going there. Barbarians attacking. Do not wait to strike Ooh. till the iron is hot. Line walking. Medieval era.
era. And I just noticed Russia. They're here. Um, anyway, guys, thank you for watching. It's been the Cornish Gamer. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.